on the beautiful water at Sparrow Point. Metallic and I and some other kippers are going to go out on the water with Eddie and his crew and see what it's all about harvesting some clams. <laughs> It's Metallic here, and we are taking off from the dock with Mr. Eddie and Miss Pittman. We had to come at this time because it's low tide, right? Because the tide is going out. The tide is going out. All right, Mr. Eddie, what are we about to do? All right, we're gonna go, we have, we have to dig three, harvest three bands of clams. The bands are 60 by 14. All right. Yeah, approximately 50,000 clams in each bed. We're gonna take, they all have nets on them, with gravel bags around the outside. We'll take the gravel bags off, take the net off, and then we're gonna rake the clams and stack them on the barge just behind, beside us. And so, how many total clams do you expect to harvest today? Um, roughly between 100 and 120,000, probably. Wow. And these clams, like you said, go to Cherry Stone and Aqua Farms. Yes, ma'am. All right. Hey, Kippers, it's Mrs. Halleck here. I am here at the mouth of Hungers Creek with Mr. Eddie Watts. He is the captain of this crew of watermen here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> How long have you been a waterman? Uh, it's about all my life. That's all your life? Wonderful. And this crew of gentlemen here is your uh -huh. usual crew? Yes, ma'am. These gentlemen are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to learn a little bit more about harvesting clams today, Kippers, and we hope you enjoy our virtual field trip. How do you put the nets down? How do you put them down? Mm -hmm. When the tide falls, you put them, you bag up a couple on these ends here, mm -hmm. pull it back, and then bag it all the way around. And what will these do? Uh, Break the clams like down in this area here. Mm -hmm. The water brushes through there as they pull back. Okay. And it will shoot the clam in the basket. And when you see these guys, you pull the basket out. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. They'll drop them in these baskets. And those guys will wash them and they'll bring them to me. Awesome. All right. And right now they're getting the sandbags off the clam beds, right? Yeah, gravel bags. Mm hmm. Getting the gravel bag. This is a gravel bag. All right, that's the gravel bag. Awesome. And once we turn this on, the water's going to come into here, come through here, and go into the rake. It's going to be pretty loud, too. Okay. And then once that rake gets on, that's when we get the clams out off the bed. Yes, okay. And these beds, some of them, ours are like 12 feet by 60 feet. Wow. But some are 12 feet by 50. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so right now, Kippers, they're raking the clam beds and they're filling those baskets. And as the baskets fill, they bring them back over here to Mr. G. He's up here on the barge, organizing the baskets. Mr. Eddie, you said you have three clam beds out here. About how long will it take you guys to harvest these three beds? Uh, about an hour and a half. An hour and a half to do all three? Yes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs>
All right, so now that they've harvested this, yeah. all these clams, what are they working on doing now, G? Um, what they're doing is taking the bags off the bed. Mm -hmm. And what they'll do is they'll take the bag and it's on the net and they'll move it over mm -hmm. to about right there to be off the net. And then what they're doing is only going to do half and they're going to pull the net back. And when we're done with this, we're actually going to put the net back down. Okay, so we're doing an extra half a bed is what is what you're saying? Yes. To make sure we get as many clams out of today as we can. Correct. All right. And then when those bags are left there, so next time we come back, mm -hmm. when, we, when we line our beds up, we'll just be able to roll them back over. Got it. Or pull them back out. Very cool. Captain Eddie, how long did it take to grow these clams? All right. Two years. Two years. Okay. Two years. Is that typical growth time? For here, this area is two to two and a half years. Wow. Now, could they go for longer, or do you need to keep? Okay. They're they're a mix right now of seven eighths and one inch clams. So that would be little mix and middle mix. So they could go longer or even shorter. Oh wow. Um, where do you, where do the clams come from? Like, do you get seedlings? What are they called? Cherry stone spawns them in a hatchery. They have four. Uh, they spawn them and raise them in tanks until they're big enough to go in the bottom, and then they put them in high density in the bottom, in seed beds, and raise them to the size where we take them and plant them in the wild, and raise them to market size and harvest them, take them back to them, and they mark for them. Wonderful. And they market them, you mean like they package them, they send them out to... Right in Cherokee. Wonderful. Out at, uh, uh, Kings Creek. Okay, Kings Creek. Now can they, can you just buy these here on the shore or do you have to get them from somewhere? Or they go to restaurants? They go, they go to restaurants, they go to grocery store chains. Uh, they, usually, they usually sell their cherry stone, but since the pandemic is that in, they, they don't... Okay. Not open to the okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Now that we're back on shore, they're loading these clams into a trailer so that they can transport them to Cherry Stone Aqua Farms because the, the beds we work today are Cherry Stone Aqua Farms. So all these clams will be going to them. And from there, they'll be packaged. 